Virgos. Welcome to the weekly love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from October 22nd to the 31st. So I hope you guys are doing good. Let's go over the meditative session first, and then we'll get these cards calibrated. Virgo, actually, let's chat a little bit before we get into what I picked up in the meditative session. Um, my energy is very different. I've been going through a lot of interesting changes recently. So if you notice that my energy is not what you're accustomed to, everything's fun, I promise. Everything changes. Nothing stays the same. And if something stays the same, something's wrong with it, okay? Um, so I promise you everything's okay. I'm just going through a little bit of a transformation here, even before Scorpio season, apparently. Virgo, Eight of Swords wanted to come out. Um, what I picked up on in the meditative session was really interesting. Someone has a hunch. Someone has a hunch. I do feel like it's you. It could be someone else. Keep in mind for my newbies here or those who are not accustomed to energy work or tarot readings, um, well, this is all energy work. This is all reading energy and energy is fluid. It's not linear and we are reading for thousands of people. So messages can pertain to you directly or they can pertain to someone within your environment or someone you're energetically attached to. So keep that in mind and the roles can be reversed. Okay. Um, Virgo. Just switch, ooh, showing you four of pentacles in reverse, ten of pentacles in reverse. They're not calibrated. I'm just showing you what comes out. Um, someone has a hunch about something and it's like waiting for confirmation. I heard strong silent type when I picked up on that. Uh, and then the, the next thing was really interesting. Um, if you guys are familiar with this cartoon, Courage the Cowardly Dog, loved that cartoon when I was a kid. Of course I did. I'm a Scorpio. Um, <laughs> who wouldn't love that cartoon? Anyway, uh, when I heard it, it when I when I was getting this, these messages about this um, about this reference, it's courage the cowardly dog. But I wanted to say courage the cowardly lion. You might know the Leo. You could have Leo on your chart. You could be a cusper, not necessarily here, okay? Um, or you could just be connecting with someone who has a very cat-like spirit. Anyway, for those who are not aware of that show, the dog, his name was Courage, was always afraid. I know. The, the butt of the joke of the whole show um but he was afraid for real good reasons okay he had valid reasons to be afraid and no one else ever saw what he saw no one else ever saw what he saw so no one else was ever afraid he was the only one um who was acting rationally in their fear for their life and survival and virgo i feel like whoever has the hunch here yeah whoever has the hunch is in this energy of does no one see what i see how can nobody see what i see how can they not be terrified because of what I see? Death card just wanted to come out. Scorpio energy. We are coming into Scorpio season. Um, not to mention Mercury's in Scorpio. Venus is in Scorpio. I read Tropic. I feel like some of you guys just asked me that. I read Tropic. Um, Vedic is a great discipline to learn. I feel like it's just another way of classifying energy. For example, if you're a Scorpio in Tropic, you're most likely a Libra in Vedic. And so any of the transits that are happening in Scorpio and Tropic will most likely be happening in Libra in Vedic. So it would still apply. Makes sense? Makes sense. Virgo, someone's afraid because they can see what other people can't see. And it's just kind of waiting for that extra confirmation of, is that really what I just saw? Is that really what I just heard? Is that really what's going on? Oh crap, that's really what's going on, okay? <laughs> oh crap, it's kind of an oh crap realization I feel like this person's gonna come to, okay? Um, and then it's gonna be action time, it's gonna be decision time. Like my hunches are right, now what do I do? This is almost like, for some it's whistleblowing, this could be happening in the workplace of course, or even within your family or romantic situations, doesn't have to be one or the other. Um, doesn't have to be just romantic is what I meant to say. Um, oh, I also just saw a hawk. Emperor Universe came out. As I've been playing with these cards, because sometimes when I meditate, I play with the cards. This is the third time Emperor Universe has come out here, okay? Feel like this is Courage the Cowardly Dog, <laughs> okay? Really feeling like this is our, our, our Courage Dog here. Um, yeah, it's, it's something that they've been kind of keeping their eye on or keeping tabs on for a while, whether that's a person or a situation or how certain events are transpiring. And their hunch is about to be confirmed and it it, sent, it kind of gives them fear it gives them fear and then they realize they have to do something about it they have to do something about it whether remove themselves from the situation magician in reverse a trickster manipulator um for some of you i'm definitely picking up on that they have to do something about this uh whether it's something they're witnessing in someone else's life someone they care about or, or something on the grander scale of things like an injustice of sorts and virgo we did have something very similar for you in the last reading i did um it's very disheartening. Six of swords, how do I move on from this? Um, very, very disheartening kind of energy too, okay? But I did see a hawk. 
Hawk can be very tactile. It's, it actually reminds me a lot of the Emperor because Hawk energy as a totem, it is also an energy of divinity, but it is also an energy of like uh, like strike attacks. Uh, strike attacks, planning, what, what logistical moves need to be made here for victory, for success, okay? So whatever's going on, Virgo, whatever hunch needs to be confirmed, it's about, be, about to be confirmed. I do feel some spying energy with that, though. Just be careful. Um, courage could be some, could be spying. Courage could be spying, or they could just be, oh, what? Stalking the stalker. That's interesting. Okay, that's interesting what I just picked up. Stalking the stalker. Hopefully you, you know, none of you guys have stalkers. Stalkers. I think that's really just to emphasize, uh, what some of you guys are dealing with here. Virgos, you might have come to knowledge that someone's been keeping tabs on you and now you're keeping tabs on the people keeping tabs. <laughs> wow. So, okay, all this Scorpio energy is really working on you, Virgos. I know Mercury's in Scorpio and Mercury is your ruling planet, but wow. Wow. Some of you guys are stalking the stalker. Okay, that's what I picked up in the meditative session. Let's go ahead and get the cards calibrated. I actually like they're pretty calibrated, but let's do it anyway. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. October 22nd to the 31st. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. October 22nd to the 31st. The masquerade is over. I just heard the masquerade is over. Any messages for Virgo regarding love? Please bring forth messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it, please. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. Oh, Virgo, you can run, but you can't hide. Virgo. Are we going to have a horror movie? What's going on? <laughs> What's going on here? Blazing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for Virgo. Blazing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. Be careful. Okay, Virgos, if you're keeping tabs on someone or stalking the stalker, just make sure that the information or intel that you get is valid. Check your sources. If your source is a person, double, triple check that person. Okay, I do feel a little bit of energy where it's like, where some of you might be getting intel from a person and that person might not exactly be honest with you. Okay, so just be mindful of that. If your intel are your eyeballs, that's a different story, okay? <laughs> that's a very different story. But if your intel is another person, double, triple check that person, okay? Oh, they're telling me stalking the, the stalker, okay. Some of you might actually have hired someone to keep tabs on another person. Virgo, what are you doing? Do you keep tabs on another person? Um, if that's the case, like I said, Virgo, just be just be cautious of those person's true intentions, okay? Ooh, six of cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy. Oh, someone's missing someone. Oh, I'm hearing aching. Virgo, someone's aching. Someone's aching for someone here, okay? This is past life soulmate karmic energy. It's also family energy as well and love i'm getting aching i'm getting like serious aching someone's aching for somebody like physically physically oh i do feel like this person is doing a lot of observing and watching this could be courage this could be courage or cowardly dog but let's see what else comes out blazing forth messages of truth healing and love for those who need it for virgo sun moon rising venus and jupiter october 22nd to the 31st Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. Oh, Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Someone's, oh, someone's homesick. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like really feeling that. Someone is homesick. And by homesick, I just mean quite literally missing their home, missing their family. You could live far away from your family or someone who's connected to you could live really far away from you. It's an energy of homesick. I miss home. I miss feeling comfortable. I miss feeling like I'm at home is also what I'm getting with that. That can ha happen in under under any circumstances here, okay? Someone's also aching because they're, this energy of homesickness, it's not, a, for some, it's not a normal homesickness. It's almost like being ready for a family 
being ready for a family and feeling very far away from that milestone. Oh, let's see what we got here. Full in reverse. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because there's a Uranus card with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Jupiter energy. Something is stopping uh, someone from taking a leap of faith here. And I do feel like it's fear. I feel like it's fear, and it's definitely this person who's longing and homesick. They're homesick, but they're not jumping forward. And I think this person's not jumping forward because they want something confirmed first. Yeah, this is courage or the cowardly dog. Okay. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. October 22nd to the 31st. So, courage is afraid to jump. They're waiting on confirmation on something. World in reverse. Fixed energy. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, which was Capricorn. Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. They're afraid to end a cycle here. Wheel of Fortune universe and the world in reverse. This is really resisting the universe, okay? This is being incredibly resistant, and it's out of fear. It's out of fear. Someone wants a confirmation before they before they let go and before they just go and before they move forward is what I'm getting. Let's see what else wants to come out. And then we'll go ahead and get started. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Justice in reverse, Libra energy. Yeah, for some, uh, this observant energy could be about a legal case or legal court case and waiting for confirmation or for excuse me. <laughs> or for a, uh, a case to be settled out. A case to be settled out of court, thank you, that's the phrase. To be settled out of court or to wait for something to come to an end um, and waiting for that confirmation. But there's something that waiting for this confirmation that's putting fear in this person, that's putting fear in this person. A big cycle is about to end and they that's what it is. A big cycle is about to end and that's been their hunch, that's been their observation and no one else seems to care as much or no one seems to be nearly as affected or nearly as afraid. No one, no one's seeing or feeling to the level of what this person is seeing or feeling about whatever ending is coming here and for some it's a legal ending of sorts. Could also be divorce but not necessarily. And at the end of the day, it's beneficial for this to end and to have something new start but it's instilling fear in them. All the while they're a little homesick or missing that energy of a happy home craving aching even aching the energy of a happy home or a happy marriage or a happy relationship a happy life a stable life at that oh virgo this is deep it was a little deep all right so let's go ahead and get into the reading for those who are new to my channel or new to tarot please know these messages are very very general okay messages come out for those who need to hear them so sometimes it's going to be you and sometimes that won't be you and it's okay if it's not you don't throw hate don't throw shade there are a lot of readers on YouTube, okay? Uh, we are working with energy, so like I said, messages can be reversed or vice versa. Also, don't get caught up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Okay. Oh, any other information, look below. <laughs> I always forget to say that. Any other information or questions or what have you, there's a lot of information below. Also, I will be launching my Vimeo page probably today or tomorrow. The link should be down below. If it's not, it will be soon. Okay. Any messages for Virgo? Any messages for Virgo regarding love? October 22nd to the 31st. Any messages for Virgo regarding love? October 22nd to the 31st. Any messages for Virgo regarding love? October 22nd to the 31st. Someone's trying to move. Someone's trying to move, needing to move, and for some reason that's really scary. That's really scary for this person. It could be like breaking out on your own for the first time. For some, yeah, for some, yeah, for some, this person is, is afraid that they have to be out on their own for the first time in their life. Like going to college or, you know, just like moving out for the first time, truly away from home. That can definitely be for some here. Or that could be for a child of yours. Any messages for Virgo regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? Others are definitely going through a separation. Definitely going through a separation or divorce, and that is leading to having to move or lose assets of some kind and already aching and missing that that complete, whole, happy, um, well, not necessarily happy, uh, complete, whole uh, family environment. Whole being the key word here, okay? Any messages for Virgo regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? Oh, Virgos, oh, okay. 
I think it's only for a few of you. I am picking up on some Virgos here who have um, lost, lost a spouse. I feel like lost a spouse doesn't feel that recent. I mean, guess recent is relative. Um, it doesn't feel that recent, but there's, there's something about um, the home environment that's changing that's bringing a lot of those feelings back up. You could be you could be dating someone and maybe they could be moving in with you and maybe that's bringing up some feelings. Yeah, that could be bringing up some feelings for you guys. Okay. Any messages for Virgos? Any messages for Virgos regarding love? October 22nd to the 31st. Any messages for Virgos regarding love? October 22nd to the 31st see here oh my virgos <laughs> page of wands with the king of swords king of swords is aquarian energy could also be gemini or libra someone's got an idea <laughs> whoever this is virgo it could be you i don't feel like it is you know take it as it resonates i do feel like this is someone you're connecting with if it's vice versa decide now okay whoever this is virgo they are they've been strategizing they've been planting they've been planting and plotting and all kinds of things here also researching i'm getting heavy research I'm seeing numbers, like prices. I'm seeing prices, actually. Oh, that's weird. That's really weird. I, I feel... I feel like this person's looking at houses. Okay, or property. This is interesting. Looking at, like, houses or property. I don't know what that's about, but I'm seeing just, like, big, fat numbers. Like, you know... Uh, <laughs> I can't talk. Numbers that have commas, okay? Numbers that have commas. Uh, and they have some ideas and they want to communicate these ideas. They've got ideas. And I do feel it is around the around property, buying property. Could even be like like office buildings. Could even be that. Doesn't have to be just living spaces. But for some, that's definitely the case. It's so weird that they showed me that. But whatever this person's doing, they're coming up with a plan. They're coming up with an idea here. For some, it's definitely a strong business plan. Others, it just could be romantic, a romantic gesture, but they want to talk, Virgo. They want to talk. Any other messages for Virgo? Any other messages for Virgo? Oh, 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 Ace of Pentacles. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I just like, can't believe that just came out after I saw all those prices, because Ace of Pentacles can also be a gift or straight up money, okay? A gift, straight up money, a ring even uh, a proposal of some kind they've got a proposal for you virgo and for some this is business for some this is straight up business others they're they're coming with something in hand they're coming with a gift mostly it is an offer of stability at the end of the day it just may be in the form of property or money or a business plan what have you okay but it's an opportunity for stability and it can be romantic <laughs> ah distance three of wands aries energy with the six of cups in reverse that aching that aching feeling here yeah i do feel i feel distance i don't think you two are very close i feel geographic distance here that doesn't apply to everybody of course but i am feeling it very strongly very strongly for those who need the confirmation feeling a lot of physical distance here and really aching for something to start really aching for you or aching for um this plan we'll just call it the plan we'll call it the plan Any other messages? This is weird. I don't think this is courage. I don't think this is cur this is our courage, the cowardly dog here. I feel like that's an energy that's closer to you. Interesting. Yeah, I feel like that's an energy that's closer to you or just you in general, okay? Because as someone who has been waiting on confirmation for a while and keeping tabs on things. No. 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 Courage might know this person or know of this person. I'm, p I'm just picking that up intuitively. We're gonna see what we got. I don't even wanna call that out, but I feel it really strongly, so I just have to say it. Any other messages for Virgo? Because courage is shaking in their boots about something, okay? About something ending. Ooh, Virgo, as you're offered a beginning. Okay, courage knows something. Cur like I said, courage is seeing, seeing stuff that other people are not seeing. Virgo, you may or may not know that this offer is coming your way, but courage knows something's about to end. Something big. Courage is about to know something big is about to end and something's about to start for you, okay? Something big is about to start for you and it looks very promising, very promising. I think courage is around you and knows that you're, you're gonna come into this and they, they are not liking it. They're not liking it. 
Any other messages for Virgo? Any other messages for Virgo? Ooh, we got the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo. I love when this card comes out in a Virgo reading. It's just so Virgo. This is the research card. This is the student card, the study card. This person has been doing a lot of that, okay? A lot of researching, a lot of studying, a lot of putting shit together here to form a plan of action. They put on a lot of effort here, Virgo, to present whatever it is they're presenting to you. It's a presentation of some kind, a presentation of the plan, romantic or business or otherwise. Any other messages for Virgo regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? And there is a sense of distance here, okay? And aching for this to get started. That's it, guys. Overall energy, we have the Two of Wands, Aries energy, decision time, Eight of Wands, Sagittarian energy, and then we've got the freaking Emperor. Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy. It's decision time. It's decision time. It's time to talk. It's time to get to step in, time to get to move in. Some of you guys will be moving. That was where my voice just cracked. Some of you guys will definitely be moving here. This emperor, is, I feel like, is this king of swords energy who's got some ideas and is ready to present a plan of sorts. And I really feel like courage is just watching all this happen and they're getting confirmation that this is coming in for you. Whoever courage is to you, okay? Virgo, it could even just be a friend. It doesn't have to be a romantic interest. It could just be a friend here, okay? But there's a, there's, there's a head honcho. We'll call him head honcho. Big daddy, <laughs> male or female, okay? who's got a lot of ideas they're ready to talk and they're ready to get to moving here and i feel like it is it will be resulting in a physical move for a lot of you who are resonating with this i know it sounds very specific definitely very specific for some of my virgos who are watching so let's go ahead and see what their plan is let's look at the page of wands and he's right to wait for this one time at the page of wands time at the page of wands for virgo the page of wands for virgo regarding love i'm hearing buyout i'm hearing buyout interesting um if you own a business virgo someone might be trying to buy you out of your business um or your home interesting or your home Tell me about the page of wands Tell me about the page of wands for virgo that's only for some of you of course Tell me about the page of wands for virgo regarding love Page of Wands for Virgo regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about the Page of Wands for Virgo regarding love. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Cards were fighting me. Holy shit. <laughs> Nine of Cups, Piscean energy, and the Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy. Could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Uh oh. Oh, Virgo, there's a wish fulfillment happening here. They're giving you what you want. They're, they're literally, literally fulfilling a wish of yours or a manifestation of yours or a dream of yours here, okay? Oh my, oh my, <laughs> let's keep it going. This is getting juicy. Tell me about the page ones. I feel bad for courage now. <laughs> I feel bad for courage to get with the dog. Tell me about page of ones. Tell me about the page of wands for Virgo. Tell me about the page of wands for Virgo regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Some, For some of you, this person might be a little cocky, especially if there's money involved. If they're trying to buy you out of something or trying to like, but I don't think buy you, or like I feel like it's buy out. I feel like for a lot of you, this person's trying to buy you out of something. Um, they might even <laughs> the king of cups scorpionic energy wow could also be water or air look at this shit virgo look at it um yeah strongly this is a partnership at the end of the day this is a partnership business or love or otherwise it's a freaking goddamn partnership okay and it, it's a it's it's a very very well matched 24 24 and i looked down at the phone it's a very well matched partnership and it's gonna make both of you happy Virgo, I do feel like this person's gonna be a little cocky. Almost like, I know what you want. <laughs> I know, it was like, it made me feel some kind of way. I was like, I know what you want, Virgo. How many zeros do you want? Oh my God, who is this, Virgo? Who is this? They're not all gonna be like that, guys, but some some of you, they're definitely gonna be like, just like that. Just like that. Tell me about this page of wands. Tell me about this page of wands for Virgo. 
Tell me about the page of wands for Virgo. Tell me about the page of wands for Virgo regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ah, uh, now we have courage. Courage showed up. Courage ain't happy. Mm -mm. Courage is not happy. We have six of cups in reverse, double confirmation there. Scorpionic energy, as I said before. Magician, mercurial energy, Virgo, Gemini. Could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy and justice in reverse, Libra energy. They feel like this shit is really unfair and they're shaking in their boots. They're scared. Virgo, they know you're about to be offered something that you really can't say no to. Check your houses, okay? Because we have Jupiter going into Capricorn in Tropic and Vedic, it is going into Sag. But like I said, most likely if you're like in the between like the first 20 degrees, which is like the first two thirds of Capricorn, you're most likely a Sag. So either way, it should still affect you. Anyway, check where you have Capricorn in your houses or if you want to follow Vedic, check where you have Sag in your houses. Um, because this, this feels really big. This feels really big. Quite literally, this person is such a true partner for you. And whatever it is, they're, whatever it is they're offering you, they're a true partner and it is exactly what you want. It's exactly what's going to make you happy. And not just you, but also this King of Swords here. And at the same time, you've got Courage the Cowardly Dog, who's like, this shit is not cool. This shit is not fair. you got someone who's shaking in their boots over this offer. Overall energy... We have strength in reverse, Leo energy. And then so many, didn't I say courage the cowardly dog? And I would say courage the cowardly lion. Look, underneath that, we have the king of wands. Leo energy could also be air or fire here. Yeah, courage is scared. Courage is scared because this person is coming in very confident. Very confident. And they put in a lot of effort here. They put in a lot of effort to formulate whatever this little plan, little, little proposal is to you. Um, and it's exactly what you want, too. I'd be scared. If I was courage, I'd be scared, okay? Because whatever this is, I feel like will require some movement. Will require some movement, and for some of you, a most definite geographic move or just a career move, okay? But if courage is like someone in your environment who um, relies on you, Virgo, or someone who's like maybe your current romantic interest and this is a romantic offer, whatever it is, I feel like courage does rely on you to some extent, um, and they're scared. Okay, they're scared. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the Ace of Pentacles here. Mm, gilded, we'll do Gilded. Let's look at the offer. Let's take a look. So I have the Ace of Pentacles. So I have the Ace of Pentacles for Virgo. So I have the Ace of Pentacles for Virgo. Regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. For some of you, courage might try to take a stand. I'm just noticing that the magician is upright against the midst of all of the bull of all of what they consider bullshit and the injustice of it all. Um, they might try to take a stand against it, Virgo. So just keep that in mind. Part of the Ace of Pentacles. Ten of the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles for Virgo. Oh, shit. oh, Virgo. We have the moon here, which is Piscean energy. Also Cancerian for me as a reader with the Knight of Cups. We have the Empress on the freaking bottom to the Emperor. Emperor and Empress now has shown up. This is Piscean energy. Could also be water or fire. Someone here could have a moon in Pisces placement, but not necessarily. And keep in mind, we did have the full moon in Pisces not that long ago. Okay, so something about this plan could have started, um, uh, this King of Swords slash Emperor could have started formulating this plan around the full moon in Pisces here. But either way, you don't see this person coming. Courage does. For whatever reason, courage does, but you don't. <laughs> Jesus. Courage could be very intuitive. Okay, so I'm with the Ace of Pentacles. There's a, oh man. Whatever is going on in this offer, I feel a lot of emotion. A lot of you, this is romantic. Some of you, this is purely business. A small group of you, it's a mix of both, okay? I, I, yeah, I just feel a lot of feelings. Like, a lot of feelings. Not to mention you are both a king and queen of cups with a nine of cups attached to you guys. Like, 
there's a lot of emotion here between you and this um what, what should we call them what should we call them um proposer no the emperor we'll just call them the emperor between you and this emperor there's a lot of emotion and for some reason courage can see this but you can't and virgo you know i'm noticing you do have your attention elsewhere your attention's kind of preoccupied. So whatever's keeping you preoccupied, you really do not see that this is like in your vicinity. Talking about the Ace of Pentacles, keep in mind now that we have three people involved here, you could be any one of these three people. Talking about the Ace of Pentacles for Virgo regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Talking about the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> King of Pentacles, Taurian energy could also be earth or air here. Wow. Okay. Big daddy or mama, whatever. They, they, they are like, wow. Wow. Just wow. I mean, we got all the kings out here. Emperor does encompass all the kings, but they're bringing in some, they're very serious. First of all, they're very serious. They're not fucking around and they're bringing in emotion and they're bringing in stability. They're bringing in resources too, Virgo better believe they're bringing in resources and they they think things through which you love <laughs> that's like such a that's such a thing that like virgos like definitely look for they think things through quite a bit talking about ace of pentacles jesus they're coming in quick virgo they're coming in fast knight of swords gemini energy could also be air or fire you have two knights here attached to this person they're coming in really quickly and they're two very fast knights talking about the ace of pentacles Talk about the Ace of Pentacles for Virgo. Talk about the Ace of Pentacles for Virgo. Let's see here. To build. Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Yeah. Virgo. They have so much emotion for you. They want to provide stability. They want to provide emotion. They want to build with you. They already have a plan. You're just the last insert. Let me put it this way. They did all the hard work in putting a plan together. They just want to go, you want to sign on the dotted line? <laughs> Virgo, who is this? Oh my God. Overall energy though, which is really interesting. We have eight of cups in reverse, Piscean energy. And then we have the Empress, you, definitely you. Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy. Ace of swords, oh shit. And then judgment. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. There's something about this offer that you know you have to take it. With Judgment and the Ace of Swords, I think some of you are going to get confirmation through your guides or just through your intuition, or you're just going to sit with it for a while and be like, is this really something I should take? Is this really something I should take? Or is this something that's going to blow up in my face? And then you, you know the truth already, Virgo. You already know the truth. But Eight of Cups in a verse, I think you're having a really hard time walking towards it because of courage. I think you're having a really hard time walking towards it because you have a courage, the cowardly dog here, kind of freaking out. And I think part of you feels a little bit bad about that because something has to end here with courage for you to take this new opportunity with the emperor who is quite a perfect match to you. And they're offering you exactly what you want. It's exactly what you want. It's the nine of cups. It's exactly what you want. It's exactly what you've been trying to manifest. It's exactly what you've been looking for. And you're having a hard time walking towards it. I don't think you know this person, Virgo. I have to be very honest. I don't think you know this person. If you do, it is someone from your past returning to you who has been aching for you. Aching for you, okay? Someone's definitely been aching here, okay? Um, let's keep it going. Where are we at? Oh my God, we're at 33 minutes? It always, I know you guys don't mind. I'm just like, God, it always goes so fast. So someone's been aching from afar. Aching from afar while putting, yeah, yeah, this is the, this is the emperor. Even if you don't know them, like even if you don't have a history with them there's they've been, they've been watching you watching the watcher stalking the stalker courage has been watching this emperor this is crazy guys okay i don't know your lives i don't know your lives i don't even know how courage knows about this this emperor maybe all of you know each other maybe all of you have the same same social network or whatever but i feel like you haven't had very much contact with the emperor even if you've already known about them even if you met them before there's been a sense of distance and they've been aching for you and if you don't know this person very well, if you maybe met them in passing or never really met them in person, they've been aching for, to do this for a long time. They've been aching for you from afar and courage knows it. For whatever reason or another, courage knows it. The emperor has been watching you because they've been formulating this plan for you and courage has been watching them. 
and you, you've been watching other shit. <laughs> you've been watching yourself. You've been watching shit in your life. You've been keeping tabs on you, making sure everything's getting done, taking care of the kids, whatever, the household, work, whatever you've had to do, you've, you've been preoccupied. I think you've had no idea that these, that Courage knows about the Emperor. The Emperor might not know about Courage. They, they may or they might not. If, you, if you're involved with this person romantically or you live with this person, they definitely know about Courage. Uh, if this is just a friend, they might not know. If this is all workplace, this is basically your boss, your current boss, and new big daddy wants to offer you a better job with better pay and better benefits. And damn well they know about Courage. Courage don't know about the Emperor in that case, okay? Well, no, they do, they do, they do, they do, they do. My, my guide's like, yes, they do, they do, they do, they do. Okay, stop, stop. <laughs> Sorry, when they get really repetitive with me like that, it really bothers me. Okay, so someone's been aching from afar. Definitely the Emperor's energy. Eight of Pentacles, time to put in the work. Let's look at the Eight of Pentacles. Um, I'm going to use the Honest Truth deck. And then we're going we're gonna to go ahead and pull some Oracle cards here. So Virgo, you're about to get handed something you have been wanting. Exactly what you want. Exactly what's going to make you happy. And you're hesitating a little bit, I think, because of courage. Okay. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. But you already know. Virgo, look, you know. You know, it's exactly what you manifested. It's exactly what's going to make you happy. It's exactly what you need right now. You already know. So time to make some hard decisions. Some hard decisions to basically take the emperor up on his offer. I'm just saying that's how the cards are falling. Decide what you want to do. You're the masters of your own life here. Okay. Talk about the eight of pentacles. Talk about the eight of pentacles. Talk about the eight of pentacles for Virgo. Regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Time about the Eight of Pentacles for Virgo. Ooh, Queen of Swords. Libra energy could also be air or water. You are matching this emperor to the T every step of the way, by the way. So Queen of Swords energy. As you're in this state, this is you, this is you looking at the plan. This is you looking at the plan, looking at the offer, being like, being smart about it, being like, okay, is it worth my time? Is it worth my effort? You've established it is, because you know, you already know, it's exactly what you've been wanting. And this is you ready to go in, go in and put in the work here as a queen of swords to match the king of swords who came up with the plan in the first place. I, I'm just, this is just perfect. I mean, like, I don't like the word perfect because perfect is like what's really perfect, but this is such a smooth running machine that's taking place here, that's formulating Virgo. And you're, it looks like you're taking it. You're taking it. Talk about the Eight of Pentacles. The only thing that bothers me a little bit, I think this emperor has studied you quite a bit. That kind of bothers me a little bit. Mm. It's just like how much you need to study a person. Um, if it's a job offer, I get why you have to like look into someone's background. But for some, it's like they've studied you. Like, oh, woo, Ten of Swords. Gemini energy. Oh, that took a turn. As I was talking about the studying you. This is interesting. Virgo, I feel like this is actually pain. Mm. It's pain. That's how much they've studied you. For those of this is like romantic situation. If this is work, they know that you are really unhappy in your workplace and they're ready to change that for you. <laughs> they're ready to change that for you because they realize how capable you are. Okay. But for those of this romantic, it's like, it's almost like they can just see the pain on your face. Ooh, they can see the pain on your face. I'm not saying you have a painful face. You're beautiful, Virgo. I'm not saying you have a painful face. Um, they can just see it. They can see the woundedness, they can see the scars, but a queen of swords is usually wounded. That's why they're the queen of swords. You don't, you know, you don't get to the queen of swords status unless you've had to cut some people, right? <laughs> right? Um, tell me more about this eight of pentacles. We're gonna look at that 10 of swords because it's really screaming at me. And for those where you've known this emperor before, like I said, where maybe you have a history with them and now there's a sense of separation and they're aching for you. It's definitely about rectifying that pain and rectifying that ending that took place between the two of you. But for those where you don't have very much of a history with this person, they they know, Virgo. They know. They know you're a little wounded. But at the same time, they, they know it's added to your resiliency. Talk about the Eight of Pentacles. It's actually what makes you valuable, Virgo. Um, 
because it means you've learned a lot. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles for Virgo. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles for Virgo. Regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Yeah. Yeah, this is interesting. Virgo, for those where there's a romantic situation and they see your woundings here, even if it's just woundings they've given you, if you have a history with this person, they want to take that pain away from you. Nine of Wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy. Nine of Wands in reverse is letting go of wounds, letting go of baggage. They want to help you do that. For those where this is a romantic situation, okay? Um, and even if it's wounds that they caused for you, and when there's where this is a career situation, uh, they know that you're put up with a lot of bullshit where you work. They know, which is also why they think they know that they can come in and swoop you up here and you're ready to drop that shit. Like, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be that hard of a choice for you in the workplace. The only thing that might be hard is like, you know, your boss might try to give you a little bit of a hard time, try to guilt trip you a little bit. Overall energy, we have four wands in reverse, Aries energy. Yeah, this is about the bullshit that hasn't been stable in your life. But Virgo, they know you're stable. You're a freaking empress, okay? They know you're stable and they know that you basically match them, which is kind of why you're irresistible to this person and why they're probably aching quite a bit for you. Um, you're just, you're a match. That's it. I mean, it's, it's just, it's just perfect. You're the king to the queen of cups. You're the king to the queen of swords. You're the empress to the emperor. You're stable. You're stable. And unfortunately, you've been dealing with very unstable people or unstable situations. And now courage is freaking out because they know that they can that this has to end between you and them whatever this is a work environment a friendship a romantic situation they know it has to come to an end because everything you've ever wanted and deserved is about to be offered to you on a silver platter by someone who is of your caliber and a perfect match hey virgo and you want it you already know it's meant for you but some of you are hesitating because of courage to the cowardly dog okay let's get some advice and then we'll wrap this up let's see here for some i feel like uh where those of us where this is romantic and they know that you're wounded i think they also kind of waited for you to work through some of your stuff a little bit here um before coming in and in the meantime they're formulating their plan and if they caused the wounds, they wanted to wait till you weren't so pissed off at them. <laughs> they wanted to wait till you weren't so angry with them. Interesting. Any advice for my Virgos? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Uh, you guys are asking me if this can apply to counterparts. Yeah, it, it can. It very much can. Are you kidding me? Empress to the Emperor. <laughs> Empress of the Emperor, Queen of Cups to the King of Cups, Queen of Swords to the King of Swords. Yes, it most definitely can. Okay. Any advice from my Virgos regarding this spread? Oh! Oh, Virgo! I'm gonna be a Virgo. I'm gonna be a Virgo for the end of October. I don't even care. I'll, I'll miss my birthday, just be a Virgo. Otter spirit, 42, bringing down to a six. You are never alone. Oh my God. Uh, this is like my two of cups, lovers, six of cups, yumminess card. It's basically, I got your back no matter what. It's the only card I have like this in this entire deck. I got your back no matter what. Uh-huh, emperor to the empress. I don't even need to talk about that card anymore. That explains itself. Any, any advice? Any advice or extra messages for Virgo regarding this spread? This is quite the perfect match. Very compatible. Again, I don't like the word perfect, but it seems pretty damn perfect here. And it's kind of undeniable. It's undeniable. And they've been aching for you, Virgo. They've been aching to do this for a while. For a while now. Okay. Any other advice or other messages? Oh, come on. That really wants to come out. <laughs> that is your spirit. Be fearless and bold, Virgo. Energy of four. Oh my God, I love this. It's like, it's funny because we kept talking about courage, the cowardly dog, right? Someone is very upset, shaking in their boots, seeing what other people aren't seeing, seeing what you're not seeing, Virgo. I can't believe like, it's so funny you don't see that this person's trying to come in like this because you have been preoccupied. Some of you have been preoccupied 
on dealing with your woundings here. And for some, this emperor has been waiting on that to kind of pitter out, especially if they cause you these wounds and caused you that pain so you weren't so pissed off at them. But now we've got like basically the, the balls up card, man up, woman up card. Time to take shit serious, time to go for it. I, I feel like <laughs> I'm feeling those eyes, the eyes of the badger. Uh, Virgo, this emperor, like I said, they've been watching you and for some courage has been watching the emperor watching you. That's a lot of watching going on, okay? That's a lot. They know what they want and they're ready to pounce and give you everything you, you, you want, really. Give you everything you want. How do you say no to that? Like, how do you say no to that? Like, it's all done, Virgo, just here, just sign. Just sign, just sign. I think that might even throw you a little bit, Virgo. Be like, oh no, no, I need to take some time to think about this. <laughs> Any advice? Any advice or other messages for Virgo? Dove spirit, be peace. 21 breaking down to a three. Oh, I just realized Virgo, for some of you, this could definitely be a workplace scenario where um, you're getting a promotion over a coworker, okay? And you haven't been aware because you've been too busy doing your job. Well, this person maybe hasn't been working hard enough. Okay, that's definitely for some of you. But be peace. This is about um, talking things out, smoothing things over. Gentle. I'm actually hearing gentle conversation. Interesting. Gentle conversation. So like I said, this person's going to come in a little ballsy, a little cocky. And Virgo, I feel like this is your energy kind of making it a little bit more gentle. It's almost like masculine versus Wow. Masculine versus feminine. Emperor versus empress here. They're coming in all hot, aggressive. I made a second video they're coming in all hot aggressive and just like like ready ready oh it, it's like there's a lot of testosterone going on here i can feel it there's a lot of testosterone coming off of this person um whoever's the male whoever's like like been planning 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 a lot of like masculine frustration and then virgo here you are all sweet and soft and feminine and shit and just talking all sweet um they're not going to bulldoze you because they that, that's not what they're about. They're not going to bulldoze you. Um, but I think you might be very kind of taken aback. It, it's almost like, um, what's the best way to say this? They've been so fixated. Aquarius, right? They've been so fixated. Actually, they're in a lot of fixed energy, I just realized. Because they have uh, the King of Pentacles, that's Taurus, Scorpio, the King of Cups, and they have the King of Swords, that's Aquarius. That's a lot of fixed energy, right? They've been so fixed that you might find it almost a little too primal. That's interesting. Any other advice or extra messages for Virgo? Any other advice or extra messages for Virgo regarding this spread? Oh, that's it. Overall energy? Oh, interesting. Koi fish spirit, there is always enough. 36 breaking down to a nine. This is about scarcity mindset. I feel like this is for courage. I feel really bad for courage. I do. I gotta be honest, guys. I feel really bad for courage. I feel like this is advice for, for courage over here. Because um, Virgo, like I said, you've been pre preoccupied with your own shit. You're too busy to watch people. You're too busy to care about other people in that capacity. Outside the people you have, you're mandatory, mandatorily have to take care of, like your kids and whatnot. Um, but this is an energy of like, I need, I need, I need. You don't need, you don't need, you don't need, right? And that's the truth of it. Virgo, this is not for you. I I feel like this is for courage and even for some, it could even be for the emperor here, okay? This is about not not craving and clawing at things because at the end of the day, we all get what we need from the universe. As long as we stay high vibe and understand that, understand how the universe works and do right by ourselves, like do right by us, you're always gonna have enough. You're always gonna have enough. I feel, yeah, I feel like this is strongly for courage. Yeah, I feel like this is for courage here. But the emperor knows what they want and they want you. And for some, there's a big ass purchase involved in that too, okay? Underneath that, I just have to point it out because I did get the hawk. Now we have eagle, which is spirit has your back. 23 breaking down to the five. Eagle and hawk are very, very similar. Eagle's just more like, how do I say this? Hawk is more about action, tactile, strategy striking making shit happen um eagle is a lot more about like kind of sitting back and observing and and taking in information and making moves mentally it's more that's what it is eagle's more mental and laid back i more with more feminine really because it's receptive and then hawk is more action oriented striking more masculine okay wow okay virgos I wish you luck in this choice. I mean, it's not a hard choice. It's just hard to actually do the action, I guess. You know, some of you are gonna feel a little guilty, but don't, don't. Do not feel guilty, because this is 
fabulous okay all right virgos i hope you guys enjoyed that don't forget to go on patreon check that out along with instagram facebook and twitter and i will see you guys later have a great night virgos namaste